All right. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for coming out this Thursday morning and watching this video. If you're watching this video, it helps me out. Let's me know that you actually saw this video and it made sense to you. Hit the thumbs up on this video and ask any questions down below. I am around to answer any comments. Leave any feedback down on the comments down below. It'll help me out and it'll keep these vlogs coming at you with just more and more value, okay? With that being said, this last month, Google was just talking about how they wanted to put a dashboard exclusively for local marketing agencies, giving us the ability to have more control over how we manage Google My Business listings. Okay, They actually went ahead and took action on that. We know that Google, when they talk, they talk, and we never really know when they're going to release stuff. Okay, So they actually went ahead and released this just like yesterday. Okay. So this is really, really powerful stuff, guys, because it's going to allow you to send invitations, manage hundreds of listings and, and lots more. This is big. OK, I'm going to share my screen with you, give you some of the facts that I've you know, taken notes on. And then I'll take you through that registration process, take you into the dashboard and show you how everything works. OK, so give me a second. I'm going to share my screen with you here and I'm going to give you some of the notes that I've taken. So the agency dashboard. Uh, let's local marketing agencies and local SEOs manage multiple listings in, more, in a more efficient, more productive manner. Here's some of the features. OK, so you can manage all locations under one account. There is no longer a 100 location per account uh, limit on the dashboard. So that's good. OK, so you could manage all types of uh, uh, listings on the one account send and receive invitations to manage listings and see the status of those invitations this is big it could be a really big marketing tool as well and then um, location groups you are required to put all organ organizations into a location group previously known as business account to help with the location management agencies can request access to a customer's location through a location group or customers can invite agencies location group to a co to co manage their listing. OK, so it's going to take us some time to learn that and get through that process. Also, while I'm speaking, guys, if you want me to drop a link to this, let me know down in the comments um, so you can go ahead and get registered, get your agency registered so you can start managing these listings, uh, Google My Business listings easier. Uh, another feature here is new user groups enable agencies to manage teams and control access to their locations with different permission levels. This is good. I have a team and so I don't want to just give them full access. They could there'll be certain permissions and things like that. That's that's really, really good stuff. I know some of you have team overseas and things like that. So this is this is coming really handy. So it'll, you know, it'll you could you could just focus on what you need to focus on your your marketing for your agency, and let someone else do the management. Okay, um, you can also quickly search for locations within an entire account or within a particular location. Really, really cool stuff. I'm gonna go ahead here and show you the registration process. Now I've already gone ahead and I've gotten registered already. But um, like I said, if you need the link to this, I left it down on the description or ask for it down on the comments, whichever, either or it doesn't matter. It's down on the description. OK, um, this is how it looks when you're signed in. This is exactly how it looks. This is new. This is you're, you're one of the first people to know about this. Um, so you can create locations groups. Uh, keep your locations organized by filling them into location groups. It's an easier way to manage multiple locations. This is awesome. OK, so you can follow that. Let's see what we get here. You can create a name so we could call this contractors in Dallas, Texas. OK, I'm just going to click create there and um, you can see that it's creating. All right. OK, cool. Uh, reminders confirm holiday hours. Customers depend on accurate holidays uh, to find uh, interact with their business. Got an existing location to transfer. All right, so manage locations. Let's check this out. Let's check out manage locations. So you can create your locations here. Let's see what we got here. All right, so you can add locations. All right, add a single location or import them from a spreadsheet. Cool. You can manage the users as well. And you could set those permissions here, all here. 
let's see here manage invitations okay so you can request access to uh different listings you could you can see here what's the name of the business of your business um let's just put it here red Florent media llc see what we got here and i'm doing this all live where are you located okay what kind of business do you run and so i would just follow these prompts here all the way to the end make connections optional here verify your connections the connection to this business so let's confirm that you are authorized to manage this business listing once verified you'll be able to make the most of this listing get your business found on the maps respond to customer reviews create promotion posts upload photos track analytics i'm not going to continue forward because i just added my business information but ideally you would want to add your prospects or clients information okay you could manage this for them going to go back to the beginning here and i'm um, going to get this uh drop that menu here bear with me one second okay all right so we're here so we have oops I go back one Get this uh, up down menu here. Here we go. So manage invitation. So you guys already know how that works. You got your settings information here. This is it, guys. This is how we are going to start managing our business listing. Google My Business listings. Uh, you could get it all done from here. And you know, you you have all these you know features manage users manage locations manage invitations so it's just an easier way for us to be able to manage these listings this is really really powerful stuff guys we no longer need to sit around managing things from emails and all that it's, it gets very very messy so this is just an easier way and it, it's just that simple if you got value out of this video again hit the thumbs up on this video comment down below helps me lets me know that you watched this video to the end thank you so much for watching this video i hope you got value out of this hope that this made sense to you if i need to if you need me to clarify anything let me know down in the comments okay appreciate you all i'll speak to you in a bit take care